this is a true story. I just brought my wife outside and I said, I want to show you something amazing. I said, this is why I do these videos and this is why I do these, this testing. This wood over here is the original wood untouched on our fence. This has been cleaned in a special way. This wood has been cleaned with a cleaner and pressure washed and it doesn't look any better than the original wood. This wood over here, which looks pretty good, has been treated with an anti-aging type product. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. And today what I'm gonna to talk to you about is I'm gonna to talk to you the difference between cleaners and anti-aging products on your wood and for your decks and for your fences. That just blows my mind. Hold on. So today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna get straight to the point. I'm not gonna make you watch a 20 minute video to give you the answers. I'm gonna explain the difference between cleaning a fence or deck, one that has a bunch of like algae and mold on it, cleaning that nasty stuff versus restoring the wood color. And then eventually what we're gonna do is we're gonna restain this fence. So you wanna click subscribe, you don't wanna miss this. So hold on. Hey guys, so let's get right into it. Um, before we get going, just so you know, all the long guides are out. The Bermuda long guide, the Zoja long guide, the cool season long guide, they're up online, they're free, use them. No app to download, no email sign up. They have calendars, they have links to products, and they walk you through every step of the year for lawn care. Get them, they're up now. Next, let's talk about the difference between cleaning a slimy, moldy, algae covered deck versus restoring wood. Whenever you have that black mold, especially on shady decks, you're gonna to need to use a cleaning product. And that's gonna be a product that's more so heavy bleach based. So I use the Mold Armor or 30 Second Cleaner. I'll show you that here in a minute. But when it comes to restoring wood like this, what ends up happening is the light pounds down on this. It starts to break down the cellulose and you start to get this graying color. You also have something in wood that's called tannins and those tannins start to darken over time. They start to sort of an oil inside the wood and it sort of comes out and sort of starts to darken. So if you just want to give your deck, uh, give your fence a pop, you can. But one of the things we used on here that's important to understand is, is the level of transparency of stains. So I like to use the Olympic Maximum line. Now they have transparent, they have semi-transparent and solid. They're all exactly the same stains except for the color content and UV protection. What's interesting about that fact is that the level of warranty on those stains goes up because of the UV protection. So a transparent may only have a three year warranty on it. A semi-transparent might have a five year warranty on it and a solid stain will have a 10 year warranty on it when they're the same stains. The only thing that's different is the amount of pigment or UV blocking because the UV rays will, are what actually cause that fence to actually start to darken like this one over here gray over time. It's breaking down the cellulose. It's sort of just taking the, the oils out of the wood and turning it gray. There's also tannin inside of a wood that starts to darken over time too. So the product that we're gonna use for this basically does not have bleach in it. If you go through the long list of chemicals in this product, it's sort of a reversal of that process. So I don't necessarily have to clean my fence. My pressure washer is gonna do that. What I wanna do is I wanna reverse that color. Do I need to do this? Not necessarily because I'm gonna, uh, when we restain the fence, I'm actually gonna go to, go to a semi-transparent stain so it won't be as visible, but I still wanna start with a clean, fresh looking fence because we're just gonna come back with a very light coat um, of semi-transparent just to make this fence really pop and make it look new again. So that's what we're gonna do. Next, let's talk about the unit real quick. This is, the, this is one of the units that's my, one of my favorite units. Uh, this is the Simpson. This is a 3300 2.5. I'll link to it in the description below. They also have a smaller version of this that also cleans just as well. And I, I always use, I have both of those here and I have the smaller one at the beach house. So I actually like these two units. Again, we have tested these units for years and years and this is our number one choice for value. Simpson actually makes a lot of the pressure washers for a lot of companies that you'll see. So like Northern Tool, and all that kind of stuff. Simpson is actually the one that's producing those uh, pressure washers. So I'm gonna replace this real quick. The other thing I always recommend, there's a little green extension here. Otherwise, the hose connects way in here 
and this little extension will keep your hose. This is a critical part of pressure washing right there. Okay, so while the airplane's flying overhead, let me show you what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna take half a panel and I'm gonna treat half a panel with the condition with the special cleaner. Then I'm gonna hit the next panel with 30 second cleaner and then half a next panel down here with the uh, mold armor. What I wanna do is I wanna understand better if I do a quick cleaning with like the 30 second cleaner or the deck wash, which is less expensive, can, will that open up the pores more where I can let it dry and then put a real light coat of this Valspar on there? Because this Valspar is 20 bucks a gallon, dude. It's not cheap. So let's just go ahead and we'll give this a try. Okay, so I keep saying I'm going to get to the point and show you <laughs> what I'm using today. So there are three products that we started off using. Number one, my favorite of all time, which is 30 second cleaner. It is more higher percentage of bleach plus cleaning agents. We use it on our house. We use it on everything. I mean, you can put this on everything. Clean RVs. We love our 30 second cleaner. Next is mold armor. Mold armor fence and deck wash. Interesting because I normally like this for a house, but I gotta tell you, you're gonna see what happens when we use it on a fence. It did not work well at all. I'm just being honest. Then the anti-aging product. The anti-aging product is the Valspar, and it's an all-in-one wood prep. Now I get this at Lowe's. Uh, you use before stain projects, but you can see the, even the picture on here, right here. See the difference of the picture? So you've got this grayish wood and then clean wood. But this prepares the surface by restoring wood's natural color and beauty, eliminates tannin stains, rust stains, and mill glaze. So when you turn this over, you're not gonna see bleach in here. <laughs> That's really not one of the components of this. This has several different chemicals inside of it and it basically reduces, it kind of reverses oxidation and it'll also get rid of some of that tannin stain and a lot of that graying of the wood. So you don't use this for cleaning necessarily. If you have a bunch of mold and algae and junk on there, we've learned, you'll show you here in a minute, we clean with the 30 second cleaner, we spray it, leave it on there for 10 minutes, we power wash it off, and then if you wanna come back, if you wanna lighten it up, make it pretty, hit it with this, let it sit for 10, 15 minutes, and then rinse it again, you're all done. We need to come back and we need to restain this fence. And that's what we're gonna do. Don't forget to subscribe because we'll show you the whole staining project coming up. It's been out here, it's been about 10 minutes or so, just over 10 minutes. The 30 second cleaner section over here actually looks pretty good. It's nice and bright and a lot of that gray is gone. The mold and deck armor section, it just doesn't look good. It's still dark and dingy. But over here, this section over here where I sprayed the Valspar, I mean, it's really, I mean, it looks like new wood almost. So let's just quick pressure wash it and see what happens. This is not totally dry, which is fine. And now what I'm gonna do is, this is the 30 second portion of this, and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna spray uh, the Valspar over this. Now I'm gonna leave that on there for about five minutes and I'm gonna come back and uh, We'll treat it and see what happens. This is for this is for someone that really wants to draw out the natural look of wood. My gut tells me since we're going to a semi-transparent stain, all I really need to do is come out here with my 30 second cleaner. Just open up this wood, clean it, and then I can go ahead and stain it. Everything's done. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I'm pretty amazed. This was a great experiment because 
This is the Valspar only treated power wash and it looks really good. The wood looks new, a lot of that gray is gone. This is using the this is using the mold armor deck and fence. And I gotta tell you, it's horrible looking. I am very unimpressed right now with that. This section looks brand new. I mean, this looks like they just put the fence up. It's amazing. So what did I do? 30 second cleaner, pressure wash it. And then once the water sort of absorbed a little bit, I came back and very lightly just hit it with that um, other product. I keep forgetting the name of that, the Valspar. And man, this is, this is incredible. This is on, this is untouched over here. This is the double. This is the mold armor, house and fence. And then that's the Valspar only. And I gotta tell you, man, that is the, definitely the way to go. So what we've done is we've come over here and we've cleaned the wood with the 30 second cleaner. All the mold, the algae, all the dust, everything that's on there, clean that all off. Then we came and we put the Valspar on there. And uh, we were able to do that because the wood was still a little bit wet, even though the sun's hitting it. And left that on there for about 10 minutes, came back with the pressure washer, hit that, perfect, absolutely perfect. Okay, so my labor force just showed up. Turn around, nice t-shirt, look at that, green shotgun. Nothing the brand. <laughs> So he was actually shocked when I showed him this. He was like, holy cow. So I'll tell you where I think we've decided to go for our purposes, because we're gonna come back in with a little bit darker colors, semi-transparent. I don't need to take the wood down to here. Look at that. It's brand new pretty much. I mean, it, it literally is brand new wood. Yeah. It doesn't even look like the old stain color almost. No. So I don't need to come down to this level. What I do need to do is come down to a point where everything is off of it and it's clean and ready for the stain that's coming in. So now he gets to do the hard work. I get to do the easy work. So he's gonna come out here. He's gonna treat all this with the 30 second cleaner. Then he's gonna pressure wash it. <clears throat> and then we'll wait for a day temperature wise because it's February, we wanna be up above 50 degrees and we'll come out here and we'll spray it and I'll put that on video, hit subscribe. Oof, man, it's been a long day. Ryan has shut down for the day, he's gone home. It's, he's gonna come out here with this big old fence. He's gonna be out here of several days doing this, I'll tell you right now. But you can see this fence looks absolutely amazing. And I really want you guys to understand the difference between cleaning uh, that algae and mold and that nasty stuff versus taking the age off a fence, taking that grayness and, that, and the tannins off a fence. Let me grab the camera and show you up close. So this is the this is the cleanest fence, which we don't need to get it this clean for what we're doing, but I have to show you this. This looks, the wood looks like, just like the day it was installed. That's how clean we got it. And then we also came over here. Now these fences, these gates for some reason, actually were like real heavy dark grays and almost black. And now they've turned out really nicely, nice and clean, so. Just remember when you get that tannin, that dark color, you get the gray color, the oxidation, the breakdown of the cellulose, the difference between that and that moldy gray kind of color. Anyways, uh, that's about it. Hit subscribe and I'll show you the stain. Done.